what is going on everybody mr. burger here back with another reaction video and if you guys have not come to my uh, recent live streams you'll notice that we got a uh, mic upgrade so the actual talking portions of these should sound significantly cleaner um, but today what we're listening to is another song suggested to me by my buddy Nick and he said hey bro Sidon how's about the flock by David Maxim Mickick? Missick? I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Um, but thank you, Nick, for a, a, another suggestion. Um, keeping the show going, my guy. <laughs> keeping the show going. Um, so that's what we're listening to today. And just based off of the stuff that he sent me and by the cover of this song itself, it seems like it's going to be another kind of progressive metal prog rock song. So looking forward to that, but before we get into this, if you haven't already, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video, and comment down below if there are any songs that you would like for me to react to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. This is The Flock by David Maxim Mikik. Misik. Kind of sounds like a lullaby <laughs> right now. Hmm. I mean, already right off the bat, this is really cool. I mean, like I just said, it kind of started off with a... Um, Kind of a nursery rhyme or bedtime song kind of sound but now it's getting in that drum just came in super strong and powerful even though it's pretty simple and basic um the way that it came in the way that they um eq'd the drums for this song i already really really like it went that came in really well Oh, okay, so I forgot to mention, I guess this song is feature or features somebody named Scampy, who I've also never heard of, and I'm assuming that's who's singing right now, is uh, Scampy. So uh, if you guys know who that is, uh, I guess you'll like the song if you haven't heard it. So, uh, the, uh, again, who I'm assuming is Scampy, her voice reminds me of this one, uh, they're from Denmark, so I, their, uh, band name is Cryoshell. Um, and when they first started, they were kind of a, they sounded a lot like Evanescence, like original Evanescence kind of stuff. But their newer stuff's getting a lot more experimental. So this very much so kind of reminds me of their, 
new stuff right now between both the singer's voice and the general sound of it. So that's actually a band. If you guys haven't listened to any of their stuff, go check them out. They're really, really good. That just picked up and got very heavy very quickly. Um, something else. I mean, obviously we don't have a video for this one, but I really like this album artwork for this song. Uh, it's just really, really cool. Uh, like I got some sort of deer looking thing with what looks like hands for antlers but the hands kind of look like they're some sort of crystal or something and then it looks like they're like a little fairy unicorn unicorn fairy at the legs i mean it's kind of an ethereal song if i'm being honest
Wow. Um, I mean, I said it before in the video, but it's, it's such... <laughs> it just sounds so ethereal. Like, it starts off with some sort of, like, uh... Uh, like, you know, nursery rhyme bedtime kind of song for children. And it kind of did maintain that throughout it, but that was... Wow. Uh... I mean, I... I pretty much just was getting lost in the music for that one. That one was, that one was really, really cool. I really, really liked that a whole lot. Um, yeah, Nick, as always, thank you for the suggestions. Um, they're always bangers. Um, please keep suggesting them because <laughs> these songs that you're suggesting are super, super cool, man. Um, but yeah, so that'll be it for today, guys that uh, I will uh, see you in the next one. I still have not held any sort of outro. <laughs>